Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're looking at another page for my 100 day project and this is abstract mic making in your junk journal. So I'm starting on this page which you can see is a old Dilusions um, piece out of her diary. Um, it's great paper to uh, paint on so it's, it's quite sturdy, takes acrylic paint beautifully so um, it's lots of fun to use. For this one I decided to try some different colours, um, well not different, I always use fuchsia but I chucked in some of this um, rose gold which um, I've had for a long time but I've never really broken out and I really love the effects of mixing some of the metallics in with the other colours so you get this gorgeous sort of glimmer in the background and even though I've sort of mixed it all together there you can still see in the final piece that little bit of glimmer coming through. So once I sort of put my paint in, I decided to do some really sort of scritchy, scratchy um, drawing into the background. And um, I'm using Stabilo yeah, Oil Pencil. And then this thicker pencil is the Stabilo Woody. It's the same thing, but they're the kids' version of the um, Stabilo Pencil. And they're really fun to use. One thing I have found since I did this page um, is that it, because I'm using my left hand to do this I didn't have very much control over what I was doing so I found since that if I heat the page um, because the Stabilo Woodies are really really waxy they just glide on like butter and you get this really really strong um, beautiful color mark on your page uh, Obviously, if you uh, got all your faculties, um, you can obviously apply those um, colours just a little bit heavier with your hand and, and get the same effect. But um, if, if you don't have much strength in your hands, if you heat up the page a little bit, you'll get some beautiful colour on your page. So now all I'm doing is adding in some extra colour. And the great thing about doing this is you get these sort of layers built up. So I'm adding this over the mic making I've already done, but you can still see the mic making through it. And one thing you do need to be aware of is the Stabilo Oil Pencil is a water soluble pencil. It will reactivate if you put wet paint over it. Um, I didn't really rub it in all that much so it didn't activate all that much but you can see sort of I've got that black dark areas happening in my paint I was happy with that um, if you don't want that to happen you just need to be aware that you need to use a pencil that won't activate with um, water so I'm continuing to add in some different paint colors just to sort of blend everything together so I've got um, the tangerine in the background I added in some sand which is that neutrally color and now I'm adding in some marine which is sort of that deeper version of the um, turquoise color it's one of my favorite colors I have to say it's just got that beautiful depth to it next I'm putting in some mic making stamps these are the Tim Holt, Tim Holtz mic making stamps and they're some of the most versatile stamps I've ever got. Uh, I just love all the marks on them, particularly that um, botanical leafy one at the top. Um, happens to be one of my absolute favourites. It seems a little bit funny putting in sort of scribbly marks onto your page, but again, I know for a lot of people, mark making is actually really tricky to do. So having some st stamps that you can use it's just a lifesaver for some people and particularly um, sort of in my situation it's really handy being able to have something I can just stamp onto the background um, that can give me a little bit of finer detail that I just don't have the ability to do it um, at present with my hand so that's what I'm playing around with with some of the areas I stamped in I thought I got a little bit too heavy-handed with it so all I'm doing is going back with some paint and blending it in again and you can see up the top I can still see the stamping underneath it but it's not quite as in your face as it was previously so it's a great way to sort of again build up those layers and build up some interest underneath them um, and have some depth to your painting then I've just gone over the top again with the Stabilo Oil Pencil to sort of draw some dotty lines 
or some lines around the outside to sort of frame my artwork. The last stamping I'm doing on this page is these really fine dots. I think it's a, a stamp from Art by Mylene. And again, it's something in the past I might have just drawn onto the page myself, but at the moment I just don't have the the control to be able to do little dots like that. So um, by having a stamp that I can use, it's really, really handy. Now I'm going in with my Stabilo Oil Pencil to really highlight those circles that I sort of created on my page. And I've just water activated the Stabilo a little bit to make it bleed out and make it sort of a focal point on my page. And then using a quite a thick Posca paint pen um, to just do that scattering of dots over the edge and using a turquoise marker to um, put some more little lines and so on on my page too. So it's all about just adding layers and there's no right or wrong and if you don't like it you can add some paint over the top and, and change it up, it's all good. But I was really happy with how this page turned out um, in the end. And I'm particularly happy because it's gone to a very special home to um, a very special person in America. So um, I hope that it brings them lots of joy seeing it on their studio wall. So the quote on this page is really important for me because it just helped me focus on what the good things were. That, you know, even though I had a sore arm, I could still use my left arm. I could still create something that I was really, really pleased with. And, you know, it was something I didn't think I could do. So um, it was great to sort of push myself outside my comfort zone and just try. So I would highly encourage you to do that too. You know, try to get the, I can't do that out of my head and just do. See what you come up with. And after all, it's only paint and paper. If you don't like it, you can always paint over it. Until next time, bye for now.